Hey, Aaron, good to see you. Uh, I think your last playoff series was two seasons ago in Orlando. Um, given where you were and where you are now, do you have an appreciation for how rare these, these series and these playoff experiences can potentially be um, going, into, going into this one against the Blazers? Of course, man. I'm not taking anything for granted. and I don't think any of us are. Um, it's a beautiful opportunity uh, to play high-level basketball and, and to win something. Uh, do something special uh, with a great group of guys and hopefully come out on top, be the last team to win. Katie Wingy, Altitude Sports. Hey, Aaron. I'm curious, what conversations have you had with the coaching staff, with other players, and what do you think you this Nuggets team needs from you in order to make it past this first round? How do you need to elevate your game? Oh, well, they just uh, talking to me about being a, a tenacious defender. Um, playing downhill, uh, being aggressive and being assertive on both sides of the floor. Um, you know, we're, we're going to need that for me uh, for us to go deep in the playoffs. Cassidy Hubbard, ESPN. Hi, Aaron. I just uh, was curious, how, how would you sum up, you know, what you thought of Jokic before you joined the team and now playing alongside him? What is something you've learned about him or has impressed you the most? You know, I always uh, knew he was really skilled. Um, just like great touch, uh, his great passing ability. I always uh, thought he was probably the best big man passer in the league. But now he's up there with just some of the best passers in the league, if not the best passer in the league, regardless of position. You know, he's just uh, an incredible talent. Um, great feel for the game, great IQ. Uh, just amazing ball player, tough shot maker. Um, just, nobody can stop him out there. So uh, we're just going to uh, keep some pressure off of him and uh, make sure to space the floor, uh, play off him well, and, and uh, you know, just try and make his job even easier for him. But he, he's just an incredible ball player. And dude, MVP. <laughs> what more needs to be said, man? That's the most valuable player in the league, man. Best play in the league right now. You know, Sean Keeler, Denver Post. Hey, Aaron, I, I'm curious how you thought, if at all, and I, maybe the answer is no, your role changed in this offense when Jamal went down. And if you think it's changed or has to adapt now that you won't have him in the postseason going forward. Oh, of course, of course. You know, uh, Jamal was a, a big shot taker and a big shot maker for us. Um, he was a, he's instant offense. He, he can break his man down one on one, but he also made the right play. You know, he's a good a good passer and a good defender as well. You know, so some of that offensive uh, uh, firepower is gone. You know, especially with with Will too. Hopefully, Will can come back in a little bit. But you know, we gotta just be aggressive and be assertive. You know, I gotta play my game. And really uh, show what I could do on the offensive end, and um, you know, just do whatever I can to help my team win. And Alexander Zikic. I don't know how is the week going, how are the preparations, and what are the expectations from Saturday? And do you think it's particularly important to win that first game to start everything strong, so to speak? Oh, of course. I mean, we got a big expectations for the team. Um, we know Portland's a, a good team. They got a lot of dogs. They got a lot of fighters on the team. So uh, they're not backing down from any challenge, either are we. Uh, but we got to take care of home court. You know, that's, a, that's the biggest thing. Take care of home court on Saturday. Start with game one. Uh, we know it's a long series. So uh, just focus uh, on what's important. And, you know, we've been prepared, preparing just you know, go, going through some of uh, their offense, our offense, uh, some of their defense and our defense, and just getting ready, getting geared up. Harrison Wynn, DNVR. Hey Aaron, what's been uh, most impressive to you about how Michael ha has just kind of raised his game here over the last couple months, especially since Jamal uh, has been out? What's what stood out the most in, in terms of just how he's made a jump here? It's just his patience. You know, he's learning, learning the game just uh, to be patient. You know, the ball is going to find him. It's just because he's such a great shooter, he's a great scorer, that the ball is always going to come back to him. So. Uh, just to understand the, that feel of it, it and not uh, have to force too much and understand that, like I said, the ball is going to find it. Ashley Neville, Mile High Sports. Hey, good to see you. 
you take great pride in defending your opponent's best player. Um, what will it take for you guys to stop a guy like Damian Lillard and CJ McCollum come crunch time? Um, well, you know, we got to just do the best that we can. You know, stopping them, it's kind of hard to stop any NBA player. You know, people are too talented, too skilled. Um, but we just can't make the game easy for him. We can't make it comfortable for him. We got to make it a hard night for him. You got to work for everything that he gets. Mike Singer, Denver Post. Hey, Aaron, to follow up on that, uh, you talked about your goal is being a tenacious defender in the playoffs. What do you expect of Faku uh, when he's going up against Dame? I mean, Faku's a dog, man. He's first team all NBA defense. So, uh, night in and night out, he's getting under guys' skin, and he plays the right way. You know, he's um, just a, a smart, heady basketball player, real gritty, uh, and is always knows the game plan. He's always in the right spot, and, and he's one of those guys that makes it difficult for the other team. KD Wingy, altitude. Aaron, what have you liked most about playing for Coach Malone? Oh, man. I mean, I've liked a lot of it. Um, I think his feel for the game, I think Coach Most feel for the game is incredible. Uh, his play calling. Um, and then, you know, he, he kind of just sits back and lets us play as well. You know, he's not calling a play every time off the floor. Uh, he trusts us to be ball players and, and make plays, and then if it gets too sporadic, then he'll, he'll settle us down and call call a play. But for the most part, he gives us a, a way to play, and then we just go out there and hoop. Christo Saltas. Hey, I don't hope you are doing well. From hey. your perspective, what is the most impressive part of your team so far, and what is the real potential of uh, the Denver Nuggets this season in the playoffs? Uh, at first, it was just the depth. The depth to the team, you know, we had 12 players that could all go out and ball, you know, all offensive threats and can all hold their own on defense. And then once a couple of players went down, it was, what really impressed me was the resiliency of this team. You know, to be able to bounce back from some key players going down and continue to have a good record. All right, Aaron, we got time for one more. We're going to end with Sean Keeler from the Denver Post. All right. Aaron, what in your experience a couple of years ago, how was the playoffs different? Guys talk about it slowing down. They talk about the importance per position, possession. How did you note that difference compared to the regular season? Um, yeah, I mean, for us in Orlando, it was about uh, getting off to a hot start. You know, it's hard to trail any team especially in the playoffs because they're so locked in offensively and defensively. Um, so to get off to a good start is really important. Um, and that's, that's a big aspect of it. And then to understand that it's a grinded out game and people are going to be uh, fighting until the final buzzer. All right. That'll do it. Thank you, Aaron. All right. Thank you.